Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's Rust Belt Collector here, and yeah, we're doing another Clone Trooper Oddity episode, one of my favorite series. Like, honestly, I've, it's not even that old. This is what, episode 5? It's just so much fun to talk about random Clone Trooper memorabilia, and today we're looking at an especially fun one. I don't know what this is going to be titled, but uh, yeah, it's going to be kind of related to some concept Clone Troopers that we've talked about here on the channel, so maybe consider it like a crossover between the Clone Trooper Oddity series and my just ongoing love and uh, curiosity with the various concept Clone Trooper designs that we've seen from the Revenge of the Sith and all the way through the Clone Wars. But yeah, today we're taking a look at uh, this Certificate of Authenticity. The, the This certifies that the print Clone Troopers is one of a limited edition 5,000 prints produced in 2005, made by Vivid Vision. I found this over on eBay and it, it it got me curious, um, and I guess you'll just have to see why. So turning it over, uh, yeah, I, I don't know if this really shows up on screen. Uh, with my eyes, this hurts my brain. Through the camera, I think it probably flattens it out a little bit, but this is a lenticular print, so it's, it's three-dimensional. Looking at this in person, it looks like this guy's popping out of the screen, and then this guy is actually the furthest back, and this guy's like rushing towards the, towards the screen, towards your eyes. It's a really trippy thing to look at. Uh, but again, I don't know if that really shows up on camera all that well. Could be the lighting, but uh, it's hard to say. So yeah, I would say that this, as it stands, as you're seeing it now, is a is pretty much a clone trooper oddity. Kind of kind of curious, right? You have the 442nd clone trooper, the 501st, and the uh, 90 91st, not the 91st, the 41st landing platform clone trooper. One of my favorite clone designs. But yeah, it's it's curious, right? It's a three dimensional poster, little mini print. But what's actually more curious is the clone trooper that is behind this sticker. And that's why we have to open this up, because we got to talk about this. Now, if you've watched this channel for any amount of time, you know I do have kind of an obsession with some of the uh, the concept clones, the clones we never got to see. For instance, we have the 91st Reconnaissance clone trooper on the antenna mold from Hasbro, and we still don't know if that was ever going to be an official figure or not, but... That's definitely been a mystery here on the channel, as well as jcc 224s channel. And then recently I did the video about Clone Trooper concept art and some of the inspirations that were drawn from that. And that video will be pinned right up here. But yeah, uh, part of that was the Box of Clone Trooper lot. That's the username over on Instagram. He's a fellow that contacted me about a concept Clone Trooper that no one had ever heard of. And he showed me a picture of a figure that he had, and I'd never seen that figure. I thought it was a bootleg, but you know, long story short, it was a concept design that was released in a couple concept books. It was also released in a t-shirt design that was on StarWars.com back in 2005, but I've never been able to track down that particular t-shirt. But long story short, <laughs> long, long story shorter, I guess, um, he got one of the prototype figures. It was listed on eBay several years ago, and he bought one and Hasbro almost made the figure into a design, into an actual official release, which would have been so cool. But up until now, I'd never really found an official piece of merchandise outside of that one example of a figure that he has until now. And yeah, right here behind this sticker is the concept clone trooper that has eluded, you know, fans for so many years. It is on this lenticular little poster from 2005. So without further ado, let's let's break this open. Yeah, I'm opening the one of 5,000, but let's face it, I don't think that this is terribly rare by any means. And uh, besides, you know, you can't see uh, you can't see the character if you don't open this up. You got to be able to see the rare clone trooper underneath this sticker. And just like that. There he is. Now, with this particular print, he definitely looks more more pinkish than he does in some other artworks that we've seen of him, but definitely that is the concept art clone trooper right there in all of this wonderful 3D glory. Again, I don't think that the camera does it justice. I'm trying to showcase it as best as possible, but this really truly does look three-dimensional when, uh, or like when you wear like 3D glasses and you look at a a two-dimensional plane. That's what it looks like, and it looks really cool, though, just the way that the characters kind of 
are in front of each other and yeah i don't know it, it's a cool poster but it's made even more cool by the fact that it has this clone trooper on it right here and again we never really got to see much promotional work with this design i have a feeling like it was scrapped fairly early on in overall concept design for revenge of the sith and then it was later translated into commander cody because a lot of his markings are basically identical to commander cody so yeah, he's kind of an early concept design that just got merged and morphed into another design. Similar to how the 442nd basically is the Utapau Trooper, you know, they, they just took the design, changed the color, and, you know, they, they, the rest is history. But this definitely saw a few more evolutions before its final form, if you will, and it's so cool. It's so cool to finally have a representation of this design in my collection as as a little poster, because... You know, someday I would love to find one of the t-shirts. I would absolutely love that, but it's it's just, it's elusive. Maybe not that many were sold. Maybe a lot of them are just worn out, you know? Kids wearing t-shirts, eventually they just get probably thrown away. So, who knows? But for now, it's great to have this in the collection. It is a true clone trooper oddity. Not only because this is a weird promotional piece. <laughs> I don't think many kids were like, wow, a, a cool 3D poster of clone troopers. Uh, some probably were. I am, and I'm just a big kid. But, you know, I don't think this was the most uh, prominent way to advertise their movie, but it's even more curious that it has a concept art clone trooper on it. Now, speaking of concept clone troopers, and specifically this guy, before we go, before we wrap this video up, I do want to share some new photos that were shared with me by the Box of Clone Trooper lot. That is his username over on Instagram. Again, check him out. Uh, Instagram link down in the description. But, yeah, he... Uh, he shared with me some more high-res photos that were found on a very, very old forum post about this clone trooper design. And uh, yeah, I'm just going to put them up on screen here now. They they look absolutely amazing. They're the traditional, you know, Star Wars renders just done with uh, this new design, I guess. And one of the interesting things with these photos is the watermark there seen on some of the photos is actually the company that was printing the t-shirts through StarWars.com. So using the Wayback Machine online, I was able to go to the old StarWars.com website and see that the place where you could order the t-shirts actually was just basically drop shipping from this website. And so, um, yeah, it, it wasn't even Star Wars making these t-shirts. It was actually a third party. And that company printed the t-shirts on demand and sent them out to the customers as orders came in. Unfortunately, I cannot find, again, any record of those t-shirts. I can't find them on eBay, so who knows who actually got one of those growing up. It appears that the design was also a custom t-shirt, so you were able to make the t-shirt however you wanted, and there was a whole assortment of different designs you could put on it, so... Maybe nobody ever selected the clone trooper. Maybe everybody wanted Obi-Wan and Anakin and stuff. We we really just don't know. But yeah, th there you go. I just want to share some of those better quality images than from my last uh, concept art clone trooper video. And yeah, not, there's, there's nothing else to say, unfortunately. We don't have very much about this clone design. A few images, um, a book this lenticular poster, and a figure that, so far as I know, only one person owns, though presumably multiples were made according to um, according to what he said about when he saw it online on eBay. There was multiple being sold. But sadly, I have not been able to find one of the figures. That is definitely one of, like, the grails, the unattainables. <laughs> I don't think I'll ever see one, but... You know, it's out there, it's in the back of my mind, someday I would love to have one. But until then, I'm happy with this poster, I'm really happy to share all of this with you guys, those of you that love the concept art clone designs and like, mysteries surrounding certain designs that nobody really talks about, and... Yeah, this poster is really, really cool, and it's a great Clone Trooper oddity. I know I rambled a little bit with this video, so I apologize for that, but uh, hopefully you're able to track with it and enjoy this uh, this trip down Clone Trooper oddity lane. <laughs> Whatever this series is becoming, I don't know. I'm just enjoying it, so I hope that you do too. But as always, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you like, comment, and subscribe if you feel so inclined. And as always, I hope you have a wonderful evening, noon, or night, depending on when you watch this video. Be kind to one another, and I will catch you all in the next video. Mm -hmm.